Okay, hey, this is Morgan. And I'm Caroline. And you may recognize Caroline from <laughs> our videos like a year ago. <laughs> so, anyway, so today we're going to be showing you how to use chalk pastels to temporarily dye your hair. As you can see, she has some blue and purple in her hair. And yeah, it's very easy and it's really cheap. So, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is take an old towel and just put it under all of your hair because this is going to be kind of messy. <laughs> so then you're just going to take the piece that you want to color and just put all of the rest of your hair in the back just so it doesn't get mixed up. And then this is just an old like heat protectant bottle and I filled it with water because I ran out. So then you're just going to <laughs> spray the hair and make sure it's really wet because you're using chalk pastels, so it needs the water to like attach to, and then when it dries, it'll stay. Okay, and then you're just going to brush that out. So then you're just going to take the color that you want to use, and this is just a really, really like dark blue. Not dark blue, like whatever. Anyway, royalish blue, indigo. Good word. Okay, so then you're just going to take the hair and the chalk pastel and just rub it down for it. Are you going to close that? Yeah. I can see my phone. I can do it. Ooh. Do I like brush it out later? I mean, can I brush my hair once it dries? Um, well, when it, once it dries you can, but like when it's still wet, if you brush it, it's going to only make the color come out. Okay. And next we're just using this purple color on the other side. And if you want to wear gloves, it'd probably be a good idea because, I don't know if you can tell, but my hands are really purple. And the more you do, like, the more stain they're going to get, so. Okay, and if you want to use a blow dryer to dry it, like, right now when it's still wet, you can. But the color's kind of going to fade a little bit, as I found out the other day when I did that. So we're just going to let it air dry some so that the color will stay more. Okay, so we just let it air dry, and then we kind of, like, scrunched it a little bit to make it wavy. And so I'm gonna zoom in so you can see it. So there's some of the purple. Right here's some of the blue. Here's my mold. So it looks really good, and you can do as much or as little as you want to. And when you wash it the next time, it will all wash out. And I did a section of pink, but you can't really see it because it's like a really light pink. So anyway, that kind of failed. But the um, red colors stay longer than the other colors. Yeah, because I did pink in my hair the other day and wore it to school. And I inserted some pictures of that because you can see it a lot better. But um, it's still kind of in my hair a little bit. So if you use like a red tone color, it might not wash out completely the first time. But the rest of it should. So this is a really cheap and cute alternative to just like permanently dyeing your hair or using expensive stuff that's going to make it temporary. So yeah. Okay, so we hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Yeah, and if you try it out, please just tweet us a picture or leave a video response. So we'll talk to you later. Thanks. I was thinking when you said chalk, I thought you meant sticks of chalk that you play outside with. No. Chalk <laughs> pastels. I don't know what anything's called. Um, a lot of you guys still ask where she is because you're not very with it. But anyway, <laughs> she's back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then you're. Okay, so whatever I give up. <laughs> the rash. <laughs> I have a sun rash. I'm allergic to the sun. <laughs> Sorry. No one would even notice. Okay. They you, just, you just look on the computer, you're going to see dark splotches all over my chest. It's red. You bet it is. Probably going to start. Oh no, I don't want it to stay. Okay. Choose purple. Alright. Close one. I should do my whole head black. Um, or not. 